in the last example we converted a column into multiple rows this time we want to do the exact opposite i want to combine multiple rows into a single cell that means that i want all the three analysts who are working in project a to come in one cell the two in project b in one cell and the five in project c in a single cell to do this we first send the data to power query in transform we will select the first option called group by and here i want to group my project column the column name could be anything i'm just calling this temp and the operation would be the last one which is all rows remember so what we are doing is we are grouping every single row for each project and the result looks like this once you have done this you will have to add a column so a custom column and let's call this names and this would be table dot column there are two arguments the table and the column the first argument would be the name that you have just given to the column and the second argument would be the original name that was there in that column which was remember name once you do this you get the result as a list and if you expand on the list you have two options you can either click on extract values in which case you get the same hold on so you either select the first one which is expand to new rows which will convert it back to how the result originally came but remember we don't want that so we want to choose the second one which is extract values let us choose a comma as our delimiter and when i press okay you notice that all the different names would have come in one single column in fact this should not be a comma it should be a comma and a space so i'll quickly add a space here excellent we don't need the second column so we can remove this let's load the data back to excel so close and load to and i want to load it back to the same sheet where the original data was so existing worksheet we will put it here excellent and now you notice we get a result that looks like this and this shows us that project a has three names project b has two names and so on and so forth and just to show you how this would work if any change happens let's say that i change aaron bergman from c to b so i'm making the change right here in row number 11 and when i refresh this the change happens here as well so aaron bergman has moved from project c to project b and obviously if in the future more projects get added so if i have let's say e and f you will simply have to come and refresh and you notice the new names also get added right so e has both havish and anmol f also has both havish and anmol oh in fact i should not have put two names in the same one let's just keep it as havish and now f only has a single name in it 